To New York, being measured in feet, not inches. One of the strongest storms ever recorded. A relentless snowstorm. Record rainfall. Record-breaking rainfall. With a new UK record temp. According to scientists, El Nino will unleash its catastrophic might on Earth's fragile ecosystem. From scorching heat waves and dried out landscapes to violent storms and ecological disruption, the Earth's atmosphere will undergo an abrupt shift in 2024. But first things first, what exactly is El Nino? Well, it is a phenomenon that occurs when unusually warm ocean water piles up along the equatorial west coast of South America. As the warm surface waters rush towards South America, nature's delicate balance is tipped, atmospheric pressure shifts, and the usual weather patterns go chaotic. Can you imagine a world where scorching heat waves, wildfires, and floods become the norm? Imagine walking outside your front door and feeling the burning heat of the sun on your skin. The once beautiful landscape around you is now a barren wasteland. As you close your eyes because of the blinding dust storms, you can't help but think, how did we get here? How did this unimaginable world become our terrifying reality? Let's travel back to the time when the ongoing El Nino event was reported by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Association in the year 2023. Scientists predicted that El Nino was expected to last through the summer, autumn and winter, and potentially into the next year, 2024. El Nino occurs when temperatures in the Pacific Ocean near the equator are at least 0.9 degrees Fahrenheit above the average of the past decade for three consecutive months. Increased warming in the Pacific Ocean may raise world temperatures and have an impact on ecosystems and weather patterns. It usually lasts for 9 to 12 months and happens every 2 to 7 years. It is important to remember that El Nino is not a new phenomenon. It has happened before, causing extreme weather patterns all over the world. The most renowned example is known as the Great El Nino which occurred from 1789 to 1793. It caused widespread deviations in global climate patterns and had a lasting impact on Indian history. An overabundance of rainfall and flooding contributed to the start of the cholera outbreak, which eventually spread over the world. As the 20th century began, Peru and Ecuador suffered from severe rains and flooding that resulted in significant property damage and fatalities. Over 5,000 people in Peru were forced to leave their homes the 1982-1983 El Nino was one of the strongest of the century and caused devastating weather-related calamities all over the world. In the previous El Nino outbreak, excessive drought affected 95% of the Philippines and Indonesia, and as a consequence, Singapore's air quality was also affected. Due to the widespread fires in Indonesia, which affected Malaysia and Thailand as well, the situation worsened. As a result, exporting palm oil became more challenging, raising the price of both the product and everything that was included in it. The total amount of rice produced in Vietnam and Thailand was significantly reduced as a result of their water shortages. India reduced the amount of consumable rice, sugar, cotton and maize that it had on hand. The year 2024 witnessed extreme weather events triggered by El Nino. From devastating hurricanes to powerful cyclones and destructive typhoons, these natural disasters wreaked havoc globally. Alongside these intense storms, El Nino also influenced extreme weather patterns, resulting in widespread droughts in various regions. The increasing temperatures and lack of rainfall resulted in dried out landscapes, leaving farmlands in ruins and crippling local economies. The severity of these droughts led to water scarcity issues and food shortages, affecting millions of people. The eastern regions like Indonesia and Australia and south-central countries like Zambia and Mozambique were severely affected by it. As a result of this drastic climate change, the water bodies and crops are starting to dry up, impacting people's quality of life, animal health and land fertility in these regions. Interestingly, El Nino's impact was not restricted to droughts alone. In 2024, it also led to excessive rainfall in certain areas leading to severe flooding and deadly landslides. The aftermath left behind devastating communities and the painful task of rebuilding lives from scratch. African eastern countries like Kenya and Tanzania experience rainfall frequently, whereas the southern United States, particularly Texas, experiences increased rainfall during El Nino events. 
However, in California, the phenomenon brings rain, which benefits the harvest of crops like lime and avocado. The warming of oceans during El Nino took a tremendous toll on marine ecosystems as well. An increase in coral bleaching resulted in the death of precious coral reefs. These vibrant underwater havens, once teeming with life, transformed into ghostly landscapes. The loss of these habitats severely impacts marine biodiversity, which in turn affects the entire oceanic food chain. The main victims of El Nino are South American nations like Peru and Ecuador, whose economies primarily rely on the export of fish and fertilizers. El Nino causes a decrease in upwelling, which causes significant damage to fish. Moreover, an increase in rainfall washes away the crops and fertilizers, which in turn affect their economies. El Nino is predicted to alter the pattern of atmospheric circulation in 2024, which will lead to a sharp increase in the worldwide average surface temperature. A strong El Nino can raise the Earth's average temperature by up to 0.2 degrees Celsius, which could mean surpassing the crucial 1.5 degrees Celsius global warming limit. As a result, the planet will see longer, more intense heat waves, as well as stronger storms. Given that the globe has already warmed by approximately 1.2 degrees Celsius over the period and that El Nino contributes more heat to the atmosphere, there's a good chance that Earth's rising temperature could surpass the 1.5 degrees Celsius mark sometime after El Nino's peak in 2024. El Nino's effects will probably take several months to manifest, but they will be felt globally as the planet warms more quickly in certain places than others. Australia is a prime example of this. The nation will see increased temperatures and dryness, along with more intense wildfires and droughts. Australia's current temperature is 1.4 degrees Celsius higher than it was in the early 20th century, and each year, the part of the continent burned by wildfires increases due to a dry climate. Scientists predict that during the next El Nino event, there will be less rain, greater temperatures, and a heightened risk of fire, particularly during the Southern Hemisphere's winter and spring. There is also a chance that South America will experience another humanitarian crisis. Additionally, there's a chance that dangerous illnesses like dengue fever, Zika virus, and malaria might spread across the continent. Unusually high temperatures may also contribute to the spread of neurological diseases, and the incidence of miscarriages may increase. Although predictions about the upcoming El Nino have been made, it is still unknown what the precise effects will be and how much of an influence they will have. Now, you might be wondering, are we even prepared to face these extraordinary challenges? While significant progress has been made in understanding the patterns and impacts of El Nino, it remains a formidable climatic phenomenon that presents unprecedented challenges. Several efforts have been made to improve forecasting and early warning systems, allowing for better preparedness and response to its effects. International organizations, governments, and local communities have taken steps to mitigate the impacts of El Nino, such as developing drought-resistant crop varieties, implementing water management strategies, and improving coastal infrastructure. The Meteorological Organization predicted that there was a 98% chance that one of the next five years would be the hottest on record as a result of El Nino. The current El Nino was estimated to cost the global economy $3 trillion through 2029. As extreme weather damages industries and agriculture, it also contributes to the spread of illness. The powerful El Nino that occurred from 1997 to 1998 cost more than $5 trillion and resulted in almost 23,000 storm and flood fatalities. Governments in nations that are at risk are paying attention. For example, Peru has allocated $1 billion to address the effects of El Nino and climate change, while the Philippines, which is at risk of cyclones, has established a special team to manage the anticipated effects. However, the scale and complexity of El Nino's influence require continuous adaptation and innovation. As climate change contributes to the intensification and unpredictability of El Nino events, it is crucial to invest in research, sustainable practices, and international collaboration to enhance our preparedness to face the challenges posed by this climatic juggernaut. Greenhouse gas emissions play a major role in intensifying the effects of El Nino. Rising global temperatures are likely to become the new norm, making the situation even more dangerous for everyone. 
This serves as a warning that the weather will become much more severe in the years to come, which emphasize how important it is to preserve the environment, as it is the only way to protect ourselves. The impact of El Nino in 2024 is proof of Earth's unpredictable climate. It serves as a reminder that we must continue to study, understand, and prepare for such climatic fluctuations. By raising awareness, implementing climate adaptation measures, and prioritizing sustainable practices, we can overcome the impacts of El Nino and safeguard the well-being of both our planet and its inhabitants. So, what do you think about El Nino? Let us know in the comments below. If you have reached this far, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell icon so you never miss any of our future updates. See you in the next video. Until then, take care.